Alright, I'd like to do a quick video about tuning Tesla coils and uh, spice simulation. So I found a way to pretty accurately model the resonant frequency of the Tesla coil in a program called LT Spice, and these are a few printouts of the coil. So, for those of you that don't know, here's a quick and easy way to tune your Tesla coil. I have a function generator hooked up here. And I'm going to adjust the frequency in kilohertz. So you can see it's 300 kilohertz right now. And we have the Tesla coil, secondary coil, and the, the output of the function generator just goes to two LEDs right here. And I just hook that to the bottom of my Tesla coil. And I have my secondary the Tesla coil, but it's terminated by two copper plates. That makes for a nice, uh, easy to determine capacitance value. So I'm just going to clip, clip my LEDs on such that they touch the copper of the Tesla coil, and I'm going to sweep through the resonant frequency here. Alright, here we go. I'm actually going to start off at 100 kilohertz. And I like to, to uh, scale in 10 kilohertz intervals. So slowly, we're creeping up the scale. can see a 380 our LEDs begin to illuminate 390 being brighter at 400 410 420 410 is our brightest so if we look here at our spice simulation um, I'll get a zoom in a little bit closer to this later but I've calculated through our spice simulation that our first resonant frequency should be at 420 kilohertz. And we're pretty close, we're at 410, so we're just off by a little bit. So let's uh, let's keep scrolling. I predicted a second resonant frequency at 10,000, or excuse me, 1,050 kilohertz. So let's see if we can find that one. So we're going past the resonant frequency and the LEDs dim. So, we found our second resonant frequency. It's close. It's actually at 970 kilohertz. So, that's about a 5% error. But, it does show that our, our spice simulation is pretty close in predicting the two resonant frequency peaks of this Tesla coil secondary. Alright, so we'll talk a little bit about this uh, spice simulation. I have a power uh, source um, that's going to be AC 10 volts and I'm going to have it do a frequency sweep um, through a small current sensing resistor uh, would be in series with it, just the impedance of the power supply and we have this is an LC network that represents the values of capacitance and inductance in my Tesla coil secondary. So there's a little trick about how to model the um, these C and L values for a cylindrical Tesla coil. Uh, that's a little bit to talk about so I'll save that for a future video. But what we have is in our spice simulation we did a sweep from about 10 kilohertz up to yeah, 2 megahertz and what we see from our simulation is we're going to see a spike at 420 kilohertz and another spike at a secondary resonant frequency uh, around 150 kilohertz. So we just took a look at those. We did a manual sweep by adjusting the dial. One thing I like about this Rigel oscilloscope is it has a sweep function. So we can go to a sweep and we can um, turn on sweep here. We can set a start frequency, 10 kilohertz. 
do a stop frequency, 2 megahertz, and we can set the duration so it'll sweep that whole frequency range in half a second and you can you can adjust this, you can make that, that time interval um, smaller or larger depending on your um, capabilities of your oscilloscope. This great um, frequency range sweep and sweep across Tesla coils and so that's why you see the LEDs blinking on and off right as we hit those resonant frequencies you see those LEDs flash and you see that our oscilloscope we're, we're measuring the tip of that coil with the probe just the end of that Tesla coil is going into the scope probe and you can see that we've, we're measuring two pike, uh, spikes near 420 and around 1 kilohertz or 1,000 uh, kilohertz and that matches up pretty clearly with the spice model. So that's simulation in tuning a Tesla coil with spice.